Ugh, it was so boring walking all the way home. Sorry about that. I should have gone to your place, right? No, that's not the point of this conversation. This house is disgusting. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't be that grumpy. I'm expecting my period soon. It can't be helped. I've been dating my girlfriend for two months, and she's a pretty straightforward person. She has PMS, also known as premenstrual syndrome. Anyway, she was irritable and cranky, and I didn't want to see her during those times, but she would still come to my house wanting to see me, so it, it's a problem for me. It's nice, isn't it, that men don't have periods? <laughs> However, though I am a guy, I happen to experience periods lately. This all started three months ago. Hmm? What is this? Oh, blood on the toilet bowl? Somehow, I was bleeding. And that's not the whole story. At first, I thought it was just a cold. Suddenly, my body began to feel heavy and dull. In addition, I started to feel absent-minded, didn't want to do anything, and often wanted to be alone. I became easily frustrated, and I had trouble concentrating. I don't want to work. I don't want to think about anything. Now, of course, you might think, everyone has problems like this. However, I've been experiencing the same symptoms every month. And right now, I'm in that exact period of discomfort. I'm pretty sure this is menstruation. Hey, why are you spacing out? It's our anniversary this weekend, so let's go on a date to a hot spring. I'm sure my period will be over by then. What? This week? A, a hot spring date? Yeah, let's go! Sorry, I don't think I can. Well, uh, why not? You don't want to go with me? That's not what I meant. Then what? <gasps> are you cheating on me? No, it's not like that. I told her the truth to straighten out the misunderstanding. That I was having my period and that I had symptoms resembling PMS. Stop kidding around. I've never heard of a man having a period. <laughs> it's for real. It's not funny at all. It's serious. So even if we go on a date to the hot spring, I won't be able to do anything to live up to your expectations. What the hell? Don't make it harder for me by making excuses like that! Ugh, no more trip to the hot spring! Wait, hey, I can't because I'm on my period, so... <laughs> Is that why you made her angry? That's right. Haven't you ever felt dull, too? Hmm, I don't know. Let me see. It's true there are times when I get irritated, have trouble concentrating, and sometimes my sex drive suddenly increases and then disappears. There are similarities with girls, I guess. So you understand it too. I wonder if it has something to do with hormones. Hmm, that seems to be something. Can you believe it? I asked him out on a date to the hot springs and he turned me down. Oh my god, that's terrible. I feel like an idiot for asking him out on a date. What does he even mean he can't live up to my expectations? That's so unattractive. He's not manly enough. Honestly, he should be more aggressive. Yeah, exactly. I wish he'd approach me more aggressively. And he's even saying that he has symptoms like periods, too. He's seriously underestimating it. What on earth? I can't believe it. Get your boyfriend to come over. Okay, I'll call him to come over ASAP. Why did they call me here? And both she and her friend are in a very bad mood. So, boyfriend, from where do you even bleed anyway? Well, I mean... Where? Is it from... If not... Not... Not in a public place like this. Think of how Misano felt when she gathered her courage to ask you out for a date at the hot springs. If you're a guy, go for it. Don't make Misano feel embarrassed. Men have something called a testicular cycle. What? Huh? The pelvis opens and closes on a monthly basis, and that's why a condition like premenstrual syndrome occurs. Seriously? Are you sure? Is that information true? Of course, it's not as strong as for women, but men think they don't have periods, so many just think they're ill. Also, when the pelvis is closed, it's called a high tide, and more and more sperm are being produced. But on the other hand, when the pelvis is open, it's called a low tide. Okay. I see. I had no idea. I, I didn't know that at all. Men have those periods too? So you're in a low tide phase right now. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I could have gone on to the trip, but I turned you down right away. No, we should travel when you're in your high tide phase. That's how I let her know I had a male period, and we made up successfully. Oh, is your stomach aching from your period? Are you okay? I'm fine. I thought you were having trouble with your period, so I brought you this. Here! What is it? Oh, thank you. So this is a sanitary pad. 
It's the one I use a lot. It has a wing, and it's comfortable, so you can use it if you want. Wow, thanks. Normally I don't bleed, but maybe I'll use it for now. Oh, it's really not as strange as I thought. Thanks. So, would you tell me where it bleeds from? I've been wondering. Sure. Come with me to the bathroom. Okay. <gasps> oh, that is definitely blood urine! I went to the hospital right after that. It was an idiopathic renal hemorrhage. They gave me a hemostatic agent, and I took it right away. So men don't ovulate, but they do have periods of low tide and high tide due to the opening and closing of the pelvis. I'm in my high tide phase. I love you. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon.